Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the limiter in Logic. Logic has two limiters, this one and the adaptive limiter, which I've also done a video on, which I'll put in the description. Both of these are used primarily in mastering and will tend to go at the end of your master chain after some multiband compression perhaps. Now to actually open up the limiter, we'll go over here, go into dynamics and then click on the limiter. And we're met with this window. Now there are a couple of differences between the adaptive limiter and the limiter. The adaptive limiter works by smoothing and rounding peaks in the signal, which actually creates an effect similar to driving an amplifier hard. This can add some nice colour and character to your master, whereas the limiter simply reduces the peak above the threshold completely, like extremely hard compression. So strictly speaking, for every 1 dB that goes over the threshold, 0 dB is let through. This is to prevent clipping in your song while still making it as loud as possible. It essentially gives your mix a ceiling that it can't push past. Another difference is that the limiter actually has a release setting, so let's just jump into it. In our window we have a couple of sections, the level meters on the left and the adjustable parameters on the right. On the left we have the input, the reduction and the output meter. The input meter shows the input levels in real time. The reduction meter shows how much reduction is taking place, so how much the limiter is reducing the overall signal. And we have the output meter, which, as the name suggests, shows the output level of our limited signal. On the right, we have the gain, release, output, and look ahead knobs. The gain is how much you increase the signal by, and this is how you achieve the overall volume for a track. If you drive this, you'll start to lose lots of dynamic range and everything in your track will become very loud. If you use it subtly, you can still maintain a lot of dynamic range and just have the loudest parts of your song hit a bit harder. So if your mix is consistently around minus 3 dB at the loudest parts of your song, increasing the gain by just over 3 dB will ensure that these parts are as loud as possible without clipping. Be careful when adding gain to your limiter because pushing it too hard can lead to quite poor results. Next is the release. This is how long it takes for the limiter to turn off once the signal has dropped below the threshold again. If it's too long, it may result in an audible pumping sound, and if it's too short, it may result in some distortion. There is no set correct release setting, but I recommend starting at about 100 milliseconds and adjusting from there, but it can be as low as 20 milliseconds. Next is the output. This is essentially the threshold for what your signal will not pass. Now, you might think to simply set this to 0.0, .0 because then it will be as loud as possible with no clipping, right? No. Intersample peaks will sneak past this threshold and it will cause distortion on playback devices. So always, always set your output to either minus 0.1 or minus 0.2 so this won't ever happen. Next is the look ahead. This adjusts how far ahead the limiter analyzes the audio. This lets the limiter react earlier to the peaks and can adjust the amount of reduction. The longer this is, the more latency is introduced, but as this is for mastering, it's not the end of the world, but we should try and avoid it if we can help it. That being said, the higher values do result in smoother limiting, but to be honest, anything above one millisecond is fine. So those are the main parameters, but we still have a couple of options down here. The mode button lets you choose between legacy and precision limiting. Precision is for hard limiting, but can introduce distortion artifacts, but it lets you enable true peak detection here. This will detect intersample peaks in the signal, so it is worth using. In legacy mode, you can choose to use a soft knee setting. A soft knee means that the limiter will have a gentler effect on the signal, so the change from the unlimited to limited signal will be smoother. This will sound less abrupt and will reduce distortion artifacts that can be introduced, certainly compared to the precision mode. You don't have to worry about these options so much as they will depend on what your mix is like, whether you want an aggressive limiter or a softer limiter. Now we're going to take a look at some settings that will work for this track. Just set the output level to minus 0.2, got the look ahead at 5, we'll just put it in bypass and then we're going to play around with it and see what works. Now the limiter will change how everything sounds because it's not quite ready to be mastered yet, but we're just going to see what needs tweaking. So straight away we can see the output's quite low, it's minus 7.9 dB. We'll give it quite a lot of gain, enough to compensate just over what we actually need, so about 8 or so. We can see here as well we're getting a little bit of reduction, not a huge amount, but around 1 to 2 decibels worth. Now we'll tweak the release a little bit, it's quite long, so we'll drop it down to around 100, see how it sounds. So at the moment it's sounding okay, still needs a little bit of work, a little bit of tweaking in the mix, but it's sounding okay now. 
Now let's just take a look at what happens when we increase and decrease the release massively. So with this very long release, it sounds very flat and lifeless. And now with this very short release, it sounds very jumpy. So this release time seems to work okay. It's still got some dynamics to it and it's still quite jumpy in that it has that energy, but it's definitely not sounding flat and lifeless. As we can see here as well, the output went up to minus 0.1 when we set the level to minus 0.2. So had we set the output level to 0.0, .0 then this would have clipped. Let's now have a quick look at legacy mode with the soft knee. So I believe it sounds a little bit too gentle with the soft knee on, which this track doesn't really suit. Of course, this will depend from song to song, but for this particular one, I think it will sound better in precision mode. The Limiter is a good plugin that offers some versatility in how you finish off your master and can provide some great results. Again, just to sum up, start your release on around 100 milliseconds and adjust from there. Set the output to either minus 0.1 or minus 0.2 dB. The look ahead to one millisecond is a minimum, but higher if you have the option. The gain will depend on the overall loudness of your song, but don't drive it too hard. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.